Alright, so first of all, you have to go to the Mongo database website. I'm gonna link that in the description, uh, so you don't need to search for it. Um, so depending on when you watch this video, this website may vary in uh, in look. They they do a lot of changes in how the website look uh, every now and then. So, but it's a, it's gonna be still the same concept. So let's go ahead and click on sign up uh, with Google, and then uh, choose an available email. Now, after uh, this page has loaded up, you need to accept the priv uh, privacy policy and the terms of service, uh, and then you need to click on submit. Now, it's going to take you to this page, and uh, it's going to do some loading, and then it will transfer you uh, to the actual uh, user menu. Now, here it's going to uh, ask you a couple of questions. These are not important, but you can uh, you need to still answer them. So, what is your goal today? For example, you can uh, explore what I can build. What type of applications are you using? Um, you can choose any uh, any of the um, options um, displayed here, or you can choose other and tell tell them what you're building. Let's say a Discord uh, bot. Oops, sorry. Uh, and then, what is your preferred language? Choose your preferred language. I'm gonna be choosing JavaScript because it is mine. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on the finish button. Alright, so now we're gonna see a couple of options uh, what we are gonna be utilizing uh, for this episode and for the future is the shared one which is completely for free so select it and then press on create now in here we're gonna have a couple of options um, and these are kind of important as uh, you go on uh, with developing your bot it's uh, I would highly recommend that you choose the closest location to where your bot is being hosted. Uh, so I'm in Sweden, so I'm gonna obviously choose um, Stockholm, uh, which is the closest uh, option out of all of these um, uh, options here. Uh, and you can select uh, AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, or Azure. Uh, they're basically the same, but they will have different available locations. So I'm going to be choosing AWS. Now here, you leave the cluster tier as it is. Uh, and then here you can change the cluster name to whatever you want uh, You want it to be. I'm going to basically uh, name it Discord underscore, or you cannot Discord bot. That would be enough for me. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on create cluster. And uh, in here we're gonna be creating your login details for your administrator uh, login basically. So create a username, I'm gonna call it leaks or whatever, whatever you wanna call it yourself. Uh, and the password, I highly recommend uh, you use uh, a generated password that you will uh, save into your browser or you can choose your own depending on how safe you want uh, your database to be. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna create user. And like you see here, we have the username leaks. The authentication type is password. And this is important to remember because that's the, the type of authentication that you're gonna be choosing to connect to your database uh, through uh, the Mongo uh, database Atlas uh, application or uh, the Visual Studio Code extension that we're gonna be talking about later in this episode all right so and here we, it's going to tell you where you would you like to connect from and then here you can choose my local uh, environment or cloud environment and uh, i would recommend using the cloud environment this means that you will be able to access um, this database uh, with your computer and with uh, basically a website hosting and here you can configure the ip list now i would recommend entering your IP address and then adding another entry with the IP address of your website I mean sorry your discord bot hosting but we're not gonna make it too complicated this episode so we're just gonna uh, use uh, this IP address which is 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0 which is basically gonna allow us to access it from wherever we want and then here we're gonna say public we're gonna add the entry and uh, here we go uh, now we're gonna type finish and our oh, sorry select on finish and uh, close and in here we're gonna go to the database 
All right, so now uh, it's gonna take some time to uh, deploy our database. So give it the time it needs. And once it's loaded, we're gonna come back. All right, so once this um, database has been deployed, you're gonna get the same interface, interface or close to it as I'm getting. Uh, now, what we're gonna do is press on the connect button here. And then here we have a couple of options to connect our uh, uh, to our database. And then here there's a new option saying connect using a Visual Studio Code. All right, so uh, now here is gonna give you um, the tutorial of how to get your Visual Studio Code to connect your database. Uh, so we're gonna do that before we connect uh, our Discord bot uh, for now. So uh, in VS Code, open extensions and navigate for MongoDB for VS Code. So we're gonna copy that name. We're gonna go to our Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's go to manage and extensions and then here we're gonna paste that name so mongodp for vs code and the first option that pops up uh, this is this should be it so click on install and once that is done you're gonna see uh, they added a new icon under the extensions uh, for mongodb and we can go here click on it and in here we're gonna go back to we're gonna add connections but let's follow the, the the tutorial as it is so in vs code open the command palette click in view and open command palette then search mongodb connect so let's copy that and then let's go to visual cd code and in here we're gonna click on view command palette and then we're gonna paste that and here we're gonna select and MongoDB connect with connection setting, uh, sorry, connection string. We're gonna click on it. Now we're gonna go ahead in here. We're gonna copy that uh, uh, URL and we're gonna paste it here. And we're gonna change password with the actual password uh, that we created um, when we whenever we created the Lix username. Alright, so once uh, you put in your password, you're gonna press on enter and uh, then it's gonna say down to the right MongoDB connection successful. If it doesn't show you that, then your username might be um, uh, wrong or your password might be wrong. So uh, just rewatch the video and uh, do everything right. Uh, Alright, so up to the uh, left of your screen, you're gonna see connections and here if you click on this arrow, you're gonna see the admin and local which are the default files that come with your database. Now you're gonna uh, click on the create a new uh, playground and uh, and here is gonna basically say, um, give you the um, testing um, commands basically. It's gonna show you how to run a find command, uh, build an aggregation to view total sales for each product. It's basically um, a tutorial or a playground to play with. Uh, we don't need that so we're gonna exit out of it. So uh, now we have established a connection with our Visual Studio Code so we don't have to use the MongoDB Atlas or a RoboDB that we used uh, way before. So now that uh, um, this is good, we're gonna connect our Discord bot with the uh, with the database. All right, inside your terminal, uh, let's press Control C to stop the bot and in here let's download npm uh, or let's download the mongoose package. And through that we type npm i uh, mongoose and press enter and this will install the mongoose package which we are going to be used uh, to connect our database. So now um, let's go to our index or you can also do it in your ready.js but as long as you do it before your uh, members that use your bot uh, are able to use commands that utilize the database uh, then you should you should be fine. Uh, and here let's require uh, the connect property from the from a mongoose package so require mongoose and what we're gonna do uh, second of all we're gonna go to our um, config.json uh, over here and we're gonna create a new entry inside of the json file and we're gonna call it database url and we're gonna equal it to the database url that we get i'm gonna show you where to get it uh that we get from the mongodp website so press on connect again then now choose the second option which is which is connect your application and copy this 
now you paste it here and change the password with the password that uh, you set to be uh, your admin password once that is done exit out of your config and uh, we can access obviously we can access um, if you go down here let's go below actually Sorry. because we're going to be needing to access the client config let's go down here and in here we're going to type uh, connect sorry we didn't paste that so connect we're gonna say connect and we're gonna type config dot uh, sorry client dot config dot database url uh, which is we're gonna go which is gonna go in here and grab this link so let's paste it correctly and then we're gonna create an object and in here we're gonna for example there is a lot of options that you can use uh, for example uh, use proxy name or whatever we're not gonna use any special options so let's leave that be what we're gonna do though is we're gonna do then and then we're gonna console dot log and we're gonna say the client is now connected to the database once that is done uh, we'll go to our terminal clear it and press node dot uh, node dot and like we see here the client is now connected to the database uh, which means that it's working we establish a connection with our database and now we can uh, use it so hopefully tomorrow in the next episode uh, we're gonna do a command or an event or something that uh, we're gonna be utilizing the database with so we can grasp an idea of uh, how databases work and how important uh, they, they really are for discord bots and for expanding your discord bot uh, to have more systems more uh, commands etc so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video